Demure, decadent and sometimes daring, wedding dresses worn by the royals have been causing waves for centuries. And the brides of the British monarchy have been anything but boring. 1935 and Princess Alice became a true blushing bride in a pink satin gown. Lady Alice, as she was, married Prince Henry, the youngest son of King George V. It was a private ceremony with the young Queen Elizabeth and her sister Margaret as bridesmaids. Princess Alice had asked designer Norman Hartnell to create the pearl-coloured dress with a cluster of orange blossoms at the neckline. The dress kick-started Hartnell's career as one of London's finest couturiers. He would go on to create Queen Elizabeth's dress for her wedding to Prince Philip in 1947. A very different affair, the material was bought with rationing coupons as it wasn't long after World War II. The high neck fitted dress was embroidered with 10,000 pearls and made of Damascus brocade, a woven fabric from Syria made of natural silk with gold and silver threads, creating a glittering effect fit for a queen. Her own sparkling beauty is superbly set off by the simplicity of her wedding gown of white organza. Hartnell would again design bridal wear for the Queen's younger sister, Princess Margaret, for her wedding in 1960 to Anthony Armstrong Jones. The first royal wedding to be broadcast on television, it was a huge event with over 300 million viewers. The beautiful Margaret wore this silk organza wedding dress which featured very little detailing and was incredibly simple for a royal gown. A daringly different bride was Wallace Simpson, the divorcee for whom King Edward abdicated the throne to marry in 1937. Dubbed Wallace Blue, her dress was dyed a pale shade of blue to match her light eyes. Made of silk crepe, it was designed by Mount Rocher, an American dressmaker in Paris. Again, breaking with tradition, the future Duchess of Windsor would shun a veil and wear a hat by Parisian milliner Caroline Rabot. Another unique dress was worn by Princess Anne for her wedding to Captain Mark Phillips in 1973. The Tudor-style design was by royal dressmaker Maureen Baker. A sartorial look, complete with trumpet sleeves and a high neckline. Apparently, Princess Anne wanted to mimic the court dresses from the reign of Elizabeth I in the 16th century. One of the most iconic wedding dresses of all time was Princess Diana's, a show-stopping dress that defined an era. Said to be one of the most closely guarded secrets in fashion history, Diana wore a dress created by David and Elizabeth Emmanuel for her wedding to Prince Charles in 1980. The meringue style soon became a staple of 80s bridal wear. It had a whopping 25-foot train and 10,000 pearls and sequins sewn in by hand. Following the trend, Sarah Ferguson went for an extravagant 80s gown to marry Prince Andrew in 1986. Hers was especially personal, having designed it herself. The dress featured an embroidered letter A, the initial of her groom. Fergie's youngest daughter was married last year in another dress full of personal touches. It was by Peter Pilotto, an Italian designer famed for his textile design. The silk blend contained four symbols, a thistle for Scotland, a shamrock for Ireland, the York Rose and ivy to represent the couple's home. It had a wide neckline which folded around the shoulder and Eugenie proudly chose a low back to show the scar from surgery she underwent to correct her scoliosis. Earlier that year, Meghan Markle married Prince Harry with a minimal boat neck style design. It was an understated and elegant look by British designer Claire White Keller, the artistic director of Givenchy. Meghan worked closely with her to create the sleek aesthetic, featuring three-quarter length sleeves and a triple silk organza skirt. Not forgetting that something special, a piece of the blue dress from her first date with Prince Harry stitched inside. Cutting a classic silhouette was the Queen's granddaughter Zara Phillips when she married rugby player Mike Tyndall in 2011. The bride wore a very traditional white silk gown with a corseted bodice, designed by the Queen's very own couturier, Stuart Parvin. The voluminous skirt was created by layers of delicate lace. We saw another classic cut in the same year with Kate Middleton's marriage to Prince William. Kate chose designer Sarah Burton, the creative brains behind Alexander McQueen. 
which was owned by a French fashion house, making it the first time a royal wedding dress wasn't entirely British made. The elegant lace dress, with its corseted bodice, had an air of Grace Kelly and spawned thousands of replicas, like many royal wedding dresses before. A true princess dress, fit for a fairy tale wedding. <laughs>